Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Taurus? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Very much blessings to all of you guys for this new beginning of the month. As you guys uh, know, I'm pretty freaking excited as we're quickly approaching Hallow's Eve. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of September 2021. Now we have the Hermit card here, the Four of Cups, the Sun, the High Priestess. Funny, when I was shuffling, these two cards popped out. I didn't feel them as strong, so I put them back on the deck. Obviously, they have a message for you. Your next card here is the Five of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Death card. The Ace of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. All righty, my lovelies. All right, Taurus, let go of the past. This is a conversation we've been having for quite a while now. Um, what they're showing me here with the Hermit uh, and the Four of Cups, um, there is an often energy or feeling of like missing out on an opportunity um or for some of you guys this could be the fear of missing out in your happiness this is like asking yourself um or internalizing you know have i passed um the best the best time in my life have i experienced that already is that something that has already happened and it's not going to happen again there's a lot of questioning. There's a lot of doubt here. Um, and it's also like kind of revisiting the past or looking to the past um, with nostalgia. You know, it, it's kind of like even if at the present time, you know, you're feeling confident or you're feeling um, optimistic about the future, you often find yourself having those moments where you kind of look to the past or you look towards the past um and you know questioning um if you've experienced like i said you know whatever you would consider happiness at some point in your life uh i feel like you're almost glamorizing it like you're looking at it from a very different perspective you're looking at it as in you know the best time of your life for some of you guys um and what spirit is telling you here is you know stop glamorizing stop uh hyping you know the past because in your mind it's engraved that it was like what you were considered or what you have considered in the past uh at some point happiness and it's like now you're you're in the present and yes you count your blessings but at the same time you question or wonder will i ever be happy will i ever find my happiness and what spirit is telling you is you got to shake that off. You know, this is something that's been, uh, I want to say, ongoing for the majority of you Taurus out there. And it's okay, you know, to revisit the past sometimes because it allows us to see how far we've come. Um, but not to keep yourself in that state of mind because then that's when we start to uh, self-doubt ourselves. That's when we start to vibrate from a very low frequency and you know even depression so again they're telling you stop glamorize it wasn't as great as you think it was there's many blessings and greatness that is coming towards you but in order for you to fully you know be able to embrace that energy and to fully experience that you have to let go of that and you have to let go of the fear um that your best years have passed whatever that may mean to you now with the sun here and the high priestess what they're telling you is you know in the bottom of your heart you know what you deserve taurus stop making excuses for other people stop making excuses for yourself to put up with people that are not giving you what you deserve or what you rightfully deserve what they're telling you here is that you need to embrace what you already know for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while or you're in the same position or in the same job that you've been doing for the past 10 years and there's frustration there because you know pinky i don't see any progress what spirit is telling you is what is it that you're doing to make that change 
What is it that you're doing to fully be able to embrace those opportunities? Uh, whether you're aware of them or not, they are happening behind the scenes and things will continue to unfold that will show you a better time in your life, but you have to be able to fully embrace what has ended. Whether it's something that has transpired three months ago, whether it's something that has transpired 10 years ago, whatever your situation is, it's about fully embracing, you know, all of this has happened throughout all this time. I am a new person because every single day we are capable of changing who we are. And I fully commit to knowing my, my worth and what I deserve, period. And not settling for anything less than that. Sorry, you guys. So what they're telling you here is, again, inspire yourself, Taurus. Do visualization exercises. Do meditation, guided meditation. Really surrender yourself to the imagination of what you want to happen. And let that imagination, that visualization, that meditation propel you to be able to vibrate. Because it's one thing to say, I've moved on. And it's a completely different thing to say you've moved on and genuinely be moved on emotionally, physically, and mentally. So I ask you guys for the month of September, start doing, you know, vision boards, start writing, start uh, journaling, start automatic writing, anything that is going to help you to release the stagnant energy and to really, really be present in the moment and to fully be, you know, present and to have direction towards what you want to manifest in your life. That's going to be crucial and very important for you guys for this month of September. So my lovely, start writing, start visualizing, start doing vision boards. Whatever it is that you feel comfortable doing that is going to help you constantly remind yourself of the goals or what you're wanting to draw into your life. Because I guarantee you that spirit will definitely respond to you. They will definitely bring those things to you. Whatever it may mean to you, they're going to manifest that. But you have to put intention into it. Okay? All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Have a blessed and wonderful month. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.